Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got a triple dose of solar forcing of the cardiac condition. We'll see a clear comparison of the May 2024 solar storm with others, but we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star because a large eruption took place overnight. Here, we're in 193 angstroms of ionized iron UV emission, and we can see that there are no flashes on the north. The filament does release further northward, and now we find the filaments in the coronal holes all around. Even while the sunspot number drops a bit this week, we can see that activity still happens. This filament was large and expansive, but it released due north and will likely miss the Earth. That's confirmed on coronagraphs showing the plasma vector up here. That leaves us looking ahead to the coronal hole turning in on the south. She's a big one, and with the next sunspots just cresting the limb here today, this is poised to be the next geo-effective space weather maker, probably going to impact Earth about a week from now. So we go to the articles, and this is the first of three papers we've got today on space weather and the cardiac state. Heart rate, blood pressure, and several other critical parameters are all worked by the sun's interaction with the Earth. It does this via magnetic field interaction with the electric vortices in the heart and by electrodynamically interacting with electrolytes and ion channels. Two big papers here with a double dose of bad news being how over the coming years we're going to see the amplification of cardiac issues, not only due to the magnetic pole shift allowing greater interaction with space weather as described in these papers, but because of what many of you stuck in your arms over the last five years. That's not going to help either. Top story today is this, a look at the May 2024 solar storm's impact on the United Kingdom. While there is discussion of the technological issues that were in play, the most important thing they describe is a comparison of the solar storm with other ones. While the magnetic field disruption level was third on record, the ground level impact was about 10 times weaker. Folks, the ground impact matches the solar wind parameters, but the solar storm global levels were about 10 times too high, implicating, once again, that it was not the magnitude of the solar event in play a year ago, it was the weakened state of Earth's magnetic field. By the way, there's only one publication that tracks all of this stuff, space weather events, impact on biology, weather and earthquakes, and of course, the Earth disaster cycle, solar system shift, the geomagnetic excursion and reversal, and the solar micronova. Next issue comes out in two days. Signing up gives you instant access to two and a half years of issues. It's more than my three books combined for $7. Two items, a full issue and a special issue, come out every month. It's the best buy you can make for information on these topics. Sign up at the link below and don't forget to come see us in person. Check the calendar and book your trip at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.